close really streaming today and we are going to finish our lower cross kind of cosplay which is I normally don't do that however though it's a good news I will have that pattern for sale it's not realistic pattern by any means but it's pretty awesome and let's cut to the scene okay okay so right here this is lower cross let me get back for a second uh, I wonder if you guys see this so last week I began creating the pattern from scratch and the pattern turned out pretty amazing so I'm going to list that pattern for sale on Etsy after I finish with this live streaming and by the way guys if you guys happen to be watching this live video I will have the pattern excuse me this pattern listed and will be 25% off for this pattern okay so you can leave a comment below the video if you want the pattern however you want I will also have the Etsy link of this pattern under the video and you guys can click on it and then get to Etsy or you can also simply go to my channel which is in code of fashion let me uh, go there so go to in code of fashion and you can also click right right here go to my channel and you click on this link there and then if you scroll down here you will see Etsy click on that Etsy you will get to my Etsy store where you can purchase many digital pattern also the template which is essential for fashion designer who actually want to sell your digital pattern online okay all right so let's close that out and let's cut to close so this is the finished pattern guy and by the way I will list it for sale as a hang on as a uh, garments file which means you don't need to sew this pattern at all when you import the clothes you can modify to do however you like and this how do the avatar sell I will also list this uh, avatar measurement guy I have it right here where you can go into clothes and only change how it for measurement that's it and you will have this avatar shape which is really cute all right so let's get to close and there it is okay i'm going to go to here all right so right now this is the pattern I this pattern here I can actually import it in as a DXF file where I can demonstrate the sewing process so we have a couple of things here it's by the way guys this pattern is a little bit advanced compared to many sewing pattern that I have been doing lately because we have these next right here it's gonna be almost like a blazer color and right here we have these eyelets and certain property here we will change that to metal to have these effects so let's get back to let me go back right here so we have these metal effects eyelets and leather belt where we'll give these pretty looks and hopefully we'll finish that today but if it's not i will by the way guys i will create a tutorial on how to sew this dress as well and if you guys want to practice sewing you can export your pattern as dxf or i will put the dxf pattern into the package so you guys can practice sewing this okay so let's cut to close here and First, first thing, guys, if we have pattern that symmetric to one 
another we simply remove one side of the pattern so we don't have to do twice so for example right here I have front pattern and back pattern front and front here is the same exact pattern so what I'm going to do I'm simply remove one half here delete it and then I also want to delete this half here and we leave the back belt here and the front belt and let me come over here so right there this is the bell loop and the eyelet this is more like a buckle but not really it only have metal effects but not really a buckle so we are going to begin sewing the dress I'm going to sew in this 2d two bar and use okay by the way guys we have many sewing tool in clothes but in this tutorial I will use two tools segment sewing tool and free sewing tool okay so I will go to segment sewing tool first and then begin sewing to an area that I use and so simply simply click and then sew and then if I want to select free sewing tool I can click right here and then have with the mouse down here the same start from the top and then bring it down here and just like right here I can use a free sewing tool but segment sewing tool is easier because more like quicker because I can just click one and then click one I get to sew together yeah just like that oh another thing here is pretty awesome guy so as you can see right here we have less on the side so i'm quite excited about that i will uh, apply the lace fabric which again garment file will include lace fabric in the garment so you guys don't have to worry about go find lace fabric and so on but i will bring the lace fabric in and we will start apply on to the pattern which is really cool okay so now i'm going to switch to free sewing tool here and we want to sew here from here and when it's come to sewing we have 2d and 3d sewing window as you can see right here and whichever comfortable for you go for it because sometimes it's comfortable for me but doesn't mean comfortable for everybody else so I'm going to begin my sewing here and free sewing is pretty useful for certain section especially sewing the eyelets we'll get to that really soon okay so looks like we finished sewing this back side now we are going to make copies and I'm going to use transform pattern tool here my key selects these and then press on shift and then select these and then right click then I'm going to go to the symmetric pattern with sewing down flat press on shift and then click one to play then I'm going to bring this so by the way guy okay now I'm going to command or control Z here because I want to place this pattern onto the appetite first okay so I'm going to uh, shift F here and then I want to place that pattern onto the appetite first so that is the the quickest and easiest to do okay so and always press number two here you want to see the front avatar okay and have it right here looks like uh, that's about right I'm going to click right that and then drag it out a little bit then I'm going to press on number 8 here and my key select the back pattern side and hover the mouse right here again we can click one to place and then adjust it afterward to make it kind of appropriate and then press on number 2 to see the front that looks pretty good and as you can see right here if we look at into this 3D window we'll see the sewing okay 
sometimes we miss sewing it's good to for example right here I miss this sewing or oh, unless it's I can't see oh it is already sewn which is perfect so you want to sew your pattern as much as possible then when you render it actually become easier okay so let's press on number two here next we are going to make the copy so now I'm going to uh, my key select okay I select this pattern which I don't want to I only want to select this pattern let's move out of here a little bit so I don't make mistake here my key select press on shift and then select all these pattern now right click and then select symmetric pattern with sewing and I'm going to zoom out a little and bring over here press on shift and click one to play and now as you can see right here we not only place we not only copy but we also place the pattern onto the avatar okay and once again guys if I look at over here we already saw on the side everything so I'm going to move this back pattern here over here because I know we are going to sew the belt onto it okay and after that I'm going to press on number two here okay one more thing before we are going to simulate we want to sew this part here in the next okay I'm going to use the segment sewing tool click right here right there to sew that together and I'm going to strengthen the pattern all right okay so here we have the option either we want to sew them now or sew them later so that is after you I'm I'm going to sew them right now and then uh, maybe sew it later let me see here although yeah so I'm going to sew these belt later how about though let's freeze them so they don't fall and mess up I mean you can freeze them and then unfreeze them later just like that so if you new to clothes freeze it just mean that the pattern still simulate but it doesn't fall and again be sure you unfreeze the pattern first before you simulate if the pattern that you have to stack on top of each other no problem but sometimes it could get it messed up unless unless let's say the circle is already on top of the bell and then you just want it to stay but before you sew together be sure to unfreeze them first all right so next we're going to sew the front and front right there then we're gonna sew back with back here okay all right so this is a little bit tricky when we simulate okay so let's bring it over here a little bit the next part we want this neck here to flop it to the back side of the avatar to do that what we're going to do here i'm going to place the mouth on top of the avatar there, on top of the neck there right there and then i'm going to press on the space bar to simulate okay now i'm going to press on again to stop and i'm going to click on here and then simulate again and i'm going to bring it over okay so i'm going to command and control plus letter z to undo here because i want to cut it a little bit earlier so right here i'm going to click on it simulate and then i'm gonna bring it out okay so again i messed up again let's just do number two and i'm going to simulate and then bring it over and so i'm going to try again okay 
command I control Z so it is quite useful guy you can actually undo as many times however though sometimes it can't be messed up if your pattern like so big but right now seems like okay okay I'm gonna try it again but this time I'm going to bring the pattern closer and let's see if I can bring it both of them closer and keep my finger crossed now let okay so let rotate here let's try again okay literally we do not want to mess it up I'm going to try one more time and let's just bring it over here so we want it just one side oh, okay so now let's bring it up and hopefully let have my finger across here bring it over so if it doesn't work we have to try something different how though let's continue pulling okay so now it is in so when it ends you can actually adjust a little by a little by and then it will get better I promise I'm going to press on number two here and while it's simulating you want to adjust the pattern to half okay by the way guys with the bra showing no worry because this avatar you can actually go into Low and then change it to nude but I don't want to do it right now only do it later after we dress the avatar at least cover the avatar so it is looks pretty good right now um, simulate one more time so what happened in the back side of the pattern if we have like some sort of material from the top here to the waist it's easier to simulate and it's easier to sew but with this design you have to grab it and then bring it in and sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get it right and that's okay I mean I try with many ways but this seems like the best way to adjust the garment afterward okay so next let's press on number two here it looks pretty good i'm going to stop the simulation here all right so now we want to sew this how though we, before we are sewing this we want to adjust a couple of things here you see the the internal line is a little bit off i'm going to bring it down here to make it match and uh, let's see if i click right here so i can see right here so one thing about this because the pattern are uh, symmetric with one another which means they link together we only have to do it one side and um, right here is depend on you as the designer either you want to adjust the internal line down or adjust them up but 
for me when i look at the the bell or the antenna line i would like the front go down a little bit lower so i'm going to bring the antenna line from the front down okay and once again zoom as close as possible so this is a really guy it's a really good pattern for you to practice because i mean if you are into the advanced sewing and clothes because it gives you the ability to adjust things when it's not come out right so when i draft this pattern i measure it everything correct but because it many pieces important to close you're gonna see something that's not always perfect so the less pieces for the pattern the more accurate the pattern are but if more pieces will become less accurate for example this internal line I have to adjust a couple of things here okay so I'm going to click and then bring it down just a little bit and then simulate it okay it's almost there again I'm gonna just eyeball it kind of okay now I maybe a little bit too low let's bring it up a little So that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do the same with right here. Bring it down a little. Okay, now it looks pretty good now let's see the back pattern so the back pattern look pretty awesome only the front part that we need to fix okay so that's pretty good all right next i want to actually adjust this pattern out a little and simulates again okay now they look pretty awesome okay next we are going to let's save the pattern i will go to file and then i'm gonna select save as and then select project and by the way guys for those uh, new and close when you save project you will save everything from avatar fabric any motion that you apply into close it will save everything so i'm going to name it lower cross and then save that onto desktop save that again okay so just a side note guys always save your work every if it's not every five minutes save every two minutes that's why when you save and again some the latest update it's not bad lately that sometimes your clothes just crash for no reason so that's why if you save every two minutes you will have your pattern safe okay oh i mentioned earlier about the avatar side you will need to change the side okay and i will have the number listed with the pattern when i list the pattern for sale okay and guys if you guys have any question need any help with sewing with making pattern again i only do women pattern right now but any pattern um i've been working as a seamstress since i was like 12 years old and i work with many many women who actually came to a shop you know we live in a small village but the small village if they really love you they just come to you and you have so much work to do and what i'm saying is i have been working with many women again many shape of women and i actually can look at the the figure and i can apply my knowledge as a pattern maker to make the pattern fit well onto the woman figure okay so with that said if you have any question leave a comment below or email me with encoderfashion at gmail.com 
I will promise do my best to respond okay all right so here we go now we are going to sew this onto okay as you can see right here everything that I freeze here is stay the same if I don't freeze them they all fall on the floor all right so now I'm going to unfreeze this here and we are going to use this uh, these free sewing tool as well as segment sewing tool all right so right here we want to sew the second line down here to this line here okay so let me use this segment sewing tool here so click one to start as you can see right here I'm gonna zoom out a little and then i'm going to press on shift here and we want to sew here so here, so here, and here. And now I'm going to click right here in the bottom line right there and press on shift. We're gonna sew that to the bottom. It is straightforward, guys. It's just a little more complex. And don't let that many pieces of pattern uh, uh, terrify you because the way I draft the pattern, I thought of which way that the quickest and easiest way to sew the pattern together so i make the pattern i test it out over and over until i found the best way that you guys can bring into clothes either practice sewing it or the lately i've been published these garments files so you don't even need to sew them but if you want to learn how to sew them, practice sewing them, and I promise you, I I uh, tested out how like many ways to to create this easy and the best as possible for you to sew together. Okay. So now we're gonna sew the front, and let me make this a little bit smaller. So the same thing with the front pattern, we will start with use that segment sewing tool, click one right there and then press on shift, then show here. So be sure the notches are parallel with one another and you're good to go. But if the notch doesn't work, simply command or control plus little z and you're good to go. Or delete the sewing. And then start all over. Okay. So we just sew this front and back. Let's uh, bring that to the front here. And we also have another function. Let's press number eight here. I know you guys are probably excited to see the eyelid, sewing the eyelid because when I first uh, learn how to sew and close. I was like, how would I sew the eyelid and make it so realistic? And I was like excited to uh, practice and I make like eyelid after eyelid until I get really really good at it. And by the way guy, I I will create another video on how to uh, sew the belt. So this does not look right how do let's give it a try okay another thing too guy if you look at the sewing it doesn't seem like it look right it looks like it twisted that because let's say we have the back pattern right there is back side let's rotate it to so if you look at the pattern was back side out you want to rotate it so they are right side out and then wrong side in so then it doesn't mess up your pattern okay again another side note here guy let me uh press on number eight and zoom it in let's say i 
work this much and I again I can reopen my file press on number two I can reopen my file and start all over because I save my file okay however in this workspace Clo have this option so you go to history and then you click on this like a t-shirt icon here now you can snap this history stuff right there okay so this stuff right here exactly where you left off let's say right there this is my pattern and I felt like oh let's simulate this pattern and then see how that go okay I'm going to press on the spacebar oh it worked perfectly fine but what if your pattern messed up you know how you simulate sometimes your pattern messed up so what you're gonna do here you have the option to go into the history right there right click and then select add to workspace and in this case let me uh let's say i want to type in one meter And then click on OK. So if I take a look, give it a second. So right here, guy, I just add another avatar in here, and that's the exact stuff that I save, exact moment that I save in Clo. So now let's say I don't want them. I can just delete them press on the delete right there keyboard to delete and then also delete the avatar because I don't need it okay and now we're back to the pattern that we just sewn so now we're going to do the eyelid here and let expand this window a little on See the front here I'm going to zoom in closer all right we are going to use a free sewing tool guy right? okay let's zoom this make that smaller because we don't need it we only need this uh, 2d window and let's adjust this over here a little so like I mentioned earlier even though I arranged the pattern perfectly, but the more pieces of the pattern, the more like the least accurate will it come. Not the measurement why the measurement why stay the same. Only some internal line kinda slip and slide off, that's all. Okay, now we are going to sew this eyelid. I will use this uh, free sewing tool. And we're going to start from this big circle first then sew it to here and then I'm going to zoom in further sew from here just like that do the same right here So I started in the wrong here, so I'm going to press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard. Then continue my sewing here. So it is kind of pain in the rear when uh, you have to deal with this small circle stuff. However, though, that's just reality. This garment here, guy, it's a real side. Uh, not literally real side, but this eyelid here, two centimeter whole eyelid and 0.5 and so on, which is not small, but 
when you work in a small computer workspace that's what it is that's what it appears to be super small okay so now we are going to bring all that circle there and let's expand this window so we can bring this up here now okay I'm going to try to uh, reset 3D arrangement here only this small circle though hang on let me bring this just a small one up here there you go you want to bring it down as close as possible before you hit the simulation button guy and another thing here so we want to apply the particle distance here to the eyelets and the bell buckle to two okay so then they become less collision for the garment itself let's try use this function here superimpose over looks like i forgot to sew one right there so let's click on that and there it is so we have to bring it over and we want to sew that so i'm going to use free sewing tool and let's check this one okay we already sold that so that's good and let once again keep my finger crossed and then simulate all right actually pretty successful guy and then press on once again to stop let's zoom in it doesn't look that great isn't it but we'll fix that promise all right so we also want to sew this side belt a little i mean we don't have to we don't want to but it's good to sew it all right so we're gonna turn this into metal and then we're gonna apply the we're gonna apply the leather fabric onto this we also change we want to change the fabric of the dress too i'm quite excited guy and command or control plus letter s to save So now we are going to zoom out here. So by the way, guys, I'm working out on my uh, MacBook Pro. The screen is a little small to manage, but hey, as long as it works, I'm okay with it. All right, so we are going to zoom in. And then we are going to create a couple of fabric here. So I'm going to actually right now everything in one fabric i'm going to go to fabric folder first i want to uh, type in knit again let uh refer to the give me a second so knit pk i'm going to click drag and then drop onto that fabric there to apply onto and let also change the color center a dress with red color so this is where I select it and change it a little bit dark red and let's unstrengthen so we get to see the fabric better alright so this is the fabric oh another thing we want to turn on this high quality render and we want to also change these to thick texture if you guys not sure or why the metal doesn't really show as a matter of fact because that two function that you did not turn on so when you turn both on you will see your metal effect which after this i will show you all right so now i'm going to 
so leave the color of the fabric there for now but again let's um, actually like to uh, strengthen that because then I'm going to create this fabric here so this is the default fabric that is okay because we want to I'm going to name that small hole and I'm going to create a copy here let couple more copy and here I'm going to name this I let's then this one I'm going to name this center vocals okay and I'm going to simply my key selects this fabric here or pattern pieces sorry and then come over here and then assign the fabric to so center vocal with center vocal and hole with hole because we want to do a choosing here uh, apply so hole to holes and then eyelid to eyelid and I will uh, show you why we have to change so many of them but if we look at the image here go back to the image so here the eyelid we have a hole that sees through and we have to use a different fabric okay so let's see if I can zoom in a little bit further here so if I look at right here I can see right here this is eyelid and we have a hole right in there and that hole right there that is we will turn that into a transparent because in this fabric right here this is a hole right there if I click on that hole I'm going to turn that however though let me uh, unstrengthen so select and unstrengthen you will see it better okay so let's see right here right now the fabric is kind of all white of course so right there let me go in and I'm going to apply so small hole and I will turn that per opacity to zero and now as you can see right here we have a hole here okay and at the same time eyelid I will go in there this time eyelid I will change that to metal render so instead of uh, choose me so eyelid here I will go in there and then change the render instead of matte go to metal render and then we also want to change my key select so this is also confusing too guys when we click on the fabric it's one function work and we click on a pattern it's another function work so if somehow when you click on the pattern and you don't see the function that I'm talking about simply deselect the pattern and then click on the fabric so one of those alright so now I'm going to come over here to the property editor and I want to change that thickness uh, to 2 let's see how that go Alright, so this is the thickness, change it to 2, let me uh, and right now it doesn't look like metal anything, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to once again, select that, let's see, uh, go to uh, eyelids once again and let, let's see if I change that to no, so you see right here material we want that instead of leather we want to change that to metal render and as you can see right here and now it is turned to metal effects and i want to come over here and turn off this uh, internal line here we don't need it so right there now it is turned to eyelid and as you can see right here now the fabric sees through because the hole is opacity is zero okay so now we're gonna do the front that looks pretty cute guy oh we have to sew this right here alright use this uh, segment sewing tool and uh, let's zoom in a little we want to sew the bell with the bell alright press on number 2 here and change that to transform print
Let's see if it twisted. Oh, oh, so that's another thing. I'm going to command or control Z here. So click on that and let zoom in. So I got that so twisted. I'm going to press on command or control plus letter B to untwist the sewing. Then I'm going to simulate again. And now it works perfect. Then I'm going to press on again to stop here. And next, let's go in. And we want to change these two metal as well. But we will do a little bit different here because we want both of them a metal, okay? And right there, this is center buckle. We click on that and then we will go to, so material, under material, we will change that to metal. And right there is metal. So it's thickness. We want to have two layer thickness here. So we're going to change. So the top one, I'm going to let's try zero still. And then the the second layer, let's change that to three. Alright, and I'm going to let Command or control plus letter A and I'm going to strengthen the pattern and let's simulate one more time here and once again press it down kind of pull it down a little And let's stop the simulation first because my computer seems kind of a little slow right now. Let's like unstrengthen. Okay, so if I look at the right here, the front buckle, I have three centimeter thickness for the second layer, and the first the first layer only have one or even zero. So let me press on number two. Okay, so now we are going to apply the leather belt onto. Onto the belt. So I'm going to click on that right there and I'm going to simply make a copy. And then I'm going to type in belt. And let's see. I can select leather from here. Okay, I am in the fabric. Leather. Uh, am I spelling the letter correct here? Let me see once again. Then go into. So yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. So spelling is not my strong suit, guys. All right. So leather, I'm going to select this leather right here. Click on it and then place it onto that belt. And then let, I'm going to strengthen first to uh, simulate. And then I'm going to kind of drag and drop that belt. I mean that fabric and then place it onto the belt. And I'm going to simulate again. And another thing here that we need to do, we want to apply thickness onto the belt as well. Let me, oh, and the particle distance is important, guys, is you want to make your eyelid or the belt look realistic. We have to change the particle distance to, you can change it as low as one. However, though, I uh, recommend Pay attention to your computer if it get really hot or seem like work uh, work really hard. Don't uh, change your particle distance to too low. Only for small fabric like this, the belt, I will change that to, let's say three. And have this warning pop up, just click on yes. So with dress, I would recommend change it to 10 if you work out a laptop like what i'm doing 
but you can change as fine as you work with the, like a powerful controller like desktop again 10 is when it's okay for like small enough that you can animate which means sometimes if you animate your garment and then your garment have like hole and unstable be sure to double check on your particle distance okay if that happened to you all right so right here we have i'm going to actually unstrengthen here because we want to see the bell effects so right there we have white belt actually i do like that white belt looks really cute white belt on red wow actually look better than what i imagined i kind of like it it's more like cream huh all right so let's leave it white for now guys because it, it look kind of cute white and red and we are going to now bring in the less fabric oh we only have okay let's bring in less fabric and if we're not finished i will try to rush through it okay so let's say one more time my computer getting quite hot okay so now let's uh go into less fabric so i i already have uh, my fabric in here with laura so what happened here this is my lace fabric right there i made that in photoshop and then i brought it in here so first of all let's create a copy of the fabric first let's just make a copy and i'm going to name that list oop my computer acting out weird let's name that lace here okay and i'm going to click and then drag that on top of that list there and then we are going to okay let's just zoom this out and I'm going to click that list right there and just drag and drop onto this so I can see right here my computer acting weird because uh, because it get a little hot I'm going to click and then drag and drop onto the again the front part then another front piece okay so it looks terrible right now but no worry guys we're going to adjust that so I'm going to click and then press on shift click press on shift for the four pieces right there and see use this uh, texture right here we want to click and then move the fabric down here so I'm going to increase the size of the list okay so what happened I want to adjust this up front and front and then forget about the back side for a little bit because I have the back side pattern a little bit bigger compared to the front and let's bring it bigger and that is look pretty good and let rotate here okay so that is number two okay let's say the bra and the panty is in the way it's hard for us to focus so what we're gonna do click on the avatar and then come over here to the property editor and we want to select on the avatar right there and then we want to change this underwear part we want to change that to nude okay and then we want to click on okay so there you go now 
the bra and panty is gone and in this case because we already have her cover so we don't have to worry about that all right so next i'm going to make a copy of this list okay because now i'm going to name this bag uh less bag because we want to apply this less bag with the less bag because the pattern size are different. Oop. No crush. Yeah. Okay. Press it. Okay, perfect. All right. So now I'm going to zoom in a little. And let's see here. Be sure you're on that texture tool guy or you can't really adjust this. So actually came out pretty amazing and as you can see right here I just uh, kind of drag the lace and again be sure you're on that tool okay right there it is kind of time consuming but hey you want a realistic beautiful garment and uh, just part of the design process the good thing about this you can actually delete remove anytime you want and you don't actually have to lose sleep like what you do in a real world garment this will take forever to sew and then re-sew stuff which is crazy okay that looks pretty good and again guy with these legs you can change to any color you want if i want to change that to black to white it doesn't matter okay it looks like it's pretty good and by the way guy as like as i mentioned earlier if i turn okay let's switch the tool if i turn this thing off now your metal look flat and also the texture here if you change that it now looks so flat you want to change that to six texture and then change these to metal okay one more thing and then i have to say goodbye guy because it is fine and we want to change the leather here the thickness we want to change that probably two let's select on the pattern and go to the property editor and let's change the leather thickness to two then see how that go okay another thing here I'm going to strengthen the pattern once again and I also want to change the particle distance here let's just change this side here okay change this to ton how about that And another thing here, let's change this particle distance for this front and back here to 5. Now press on number 2. Let my key selects all of them. Oh, let's stop the simulation first before they all crash now right click and then select unstrengthen okay there you go guy it's pretty awesome okay let's just go to just 3d so i would uh, apply the top stitches onto the bell and onto this front layer this side layer okay and then after that i will also change the avatar poses on the shoe so that is for now guys thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoy this beautiful monday with chloe and next week we'll find something out more interesting or at least as interesting to do
and by the way guys be sure to check on my Etsy store later because I will have this pattern for sale and 25% off okay promise all right thanks for watching guys have a good actually have a good weekday